What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Fitness. So let's start this video with this little clip of Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jack during that Texas Pro Pose Down. And I'm sure this is one of the most wholesome clip that we will see today in the bodybuilding world. So we know both these guys have been battling it out for a few years now. We all remember what an incredible battle we witnessed at the same stage last year between these two amazing athletes. So last year's Texas Pro that was a lot more competitive than this one because Andrew got away with the win by just one point against Hunter. And both these guys have stood next to each other three times now. At the Olympia 2022, the Olympia 2023, and last year's Texas Pro. So Hunter is also going to be stepping on the stage in four weeks time. And we are expecting to see same kind of dominating win at Italy Pro this year. Because Hunter also had an amazing offseason. And he also dropped a few updates yesterday with the legendary coach, Heinz Wembot. And I have to say he looks to be right on the money for about four weeks out. So coming back to Texas Pro, the scorecards are also out. And I have to say Andrew's victory here, that could not have been more obvious than this one. I think most of us were more interested in seeing who's gonna come in second. Because it looked really close between Jordan Hutchison and Nathan Appler. But Jordan was able to beat Nathan here. And he made it 1-1 against Nathan. Because Jordan got really overlooked at Chicago Pro a couple of weeks ago. But his past two performances at Tampa Pro and now at Texas Pro. Where he plays third and second respectively. That is a proof that the guy is heading in the right direction. So one thing that we need to appreciate about both these incredible athletes. Is the level of condition they bring. Not just here. But in all the shows that these guys did this year. Because the thing is normally guys have difficulty. To hold on to the condition for a long period of time. But both Jordan and Nathan, they absolutely nailed it here one more time. So everyone is going to be talking about Andrew today. But these guys also need appreciation. And they 100% deserve it. And I believe with the right show selection, they can be on the Olympia stage next year for sure. So Louis Breed came in fourth. So that is another top blessing for him after a successful weekend at Tampa Pro this past week. Where he finished fifth. Felix Norman made the top five. And I believe he is going to be extremely happy with this result after placing 11th in Chicago. Now, let's talk about the man himself, Andrew Jacked. So from the winning Miss Olympia Derek Lensford, to the winning Arnold Classic champion Hadi Chupan, to Sam Sandalda, to Nick Walker, he put everyone on notice. Because the man looked absolutely incredible on the stage last night. So no picture or video can justify how he will look in person. So some clips of him, where he was posing for the crowd in the pose down, that gives you a more clear picture of how cartoonish he looks up close in person. He has that crazy chest hand. One of the deepest and the most chiseled abs in the men's open right now. His unreal aesthetics, his structure. I have to say he was on a different level last night. So if we speak strictly on the aspect of who has got a bear shape and bear flow between Andrew Jack and Sam Zandaldo, it's Andrew all day every day. He has bear taper, he has a smaller waist, and he has a better flow than Sam Zandaldo. And we are entering a very unique era of bodybuilding. With two guys who are over 6 feet tall. They are both coming for the crown. They are both coming for that Miss Olympia title. So everyone was in complete awe. After watching this new version of Andrew Jack. Now let's address the bigger question. How much improvements Andrew was able to make. Since Texas Pro last year. And yes I know he did the Olympia last year as well. But I think we can all agree before this one. Texas Pro 2023 was his best look ever. So let's just take a look at this comparison from 2023 and 2024. So the most noticeable difference before Andrew starting hitting the shots is that added size that he was able to put on on his quads. Now his overall width that was already a very strong point for him. Even back in 2022 when he turned pro, he was incredibly wide and he just took it to a whole different level. And he also really took some pointers as far as his posing is concerned. He was hitting that front double while standing straight this time. Unlike last year when he used to tilt. And I think that really showed how wide the man is looking right now. It enhanced his V-taper even more. And what can I say about his waistline? It's looking even smaller than before. So Andrew's front last spread. That is the best front last spread in the bodybuilding world right now. And I have to say in the entire bodybuilding history for that matter. And I think the only guy who can hang with Andrew in this pose, that is Samson Daudo. Because there is a guarantee that Andrew is beating both Hadi Jobon and Derek 
in this specific shot at this year's Miss Olympia. So the side charts of Andrew, that is where he was really vulnerable, at least last year. But this time he did add some thickness in that area as well, especially in the side of his legs. And it is gonna be really interesting to see how he compares with the top guys in that side chest and side tricep pose. So the back lat spread, that is also gonna be a great shot for Andrew. He definitely had more thickness in his back. His upper back was looking more dense. And overall, he was also looking more wider. Now, if anyone is expecting that Andrew is going to have those deep lines in his hamstrings and his glutes, like for instance, Derek, then that is never going to happen. That is genetics. But he improved on those body parts as well. So the judges here, they're going to have to make a call whether they want to give more priority to shred glutes over all these other great aspects. All those great things that guys like Andrew Jack and Samson Dauda bring to the stage. So Andrew's abs and thigh pose from last year's Texas pool that was already considered one of the best in the world. But this one right here, that might be the best abs and thigh shot, not just in this era, for any era of bodybuilding for that matter. Probably one of the best of all time. So now he has even bigger sweep to his quads, plus his tiny waist, combined with that insane width. Now it's too early to say this, but this new version of Andrew Jacked that might be able to beat Hadi Chopin in the abs and thigh. So people talk about the 90s era all the time with all those guys. What the definition of mass with class? Well, I have to say the small waist. They're making a return in the men's open bodybuilding. And the Olympia this year is gonna be absolutely epic. So Andrew Jack potentially will be top 3 this year. But do let me know what you guys think. Now let's take a look at some other physique updates. So people have been talking about this year's Chicago Pro Champion, Muhammad Fada that with the size and the aesthetics that he has, he is going to be one of the top guys of the sport in a few years, especially if he brings up his back. So Fado also had a shocking reaction upon watching Andrew Jack last night. And these guys know each other very well, as both these guys trained in Dubai for most part of the year. So coming back to Muhammad Fado, the entire focus is going to be improving those back shots. Now I'm not really sure whether he will be able to make some significant improvements in his back in just 9 weeks time before this year's Miss Olympia because that is such a short period of time and Fada was training under the guidance of a legendary coach like Hani Wembar for years after turning pro and if he has this weakness even after years and years of competing as a pro then that is genetically a weak body part and this is gonna take more than 10 weeks to grow but Fada can definitely work on to bring better condition compared to what we saw at this past Tampa Pro where he lost to John Del Rosa because I think we can all agree if he was in the same condition as John, he would have won Tampa Pro as well. And that is something Fada will definitely work on. So you only get this one chance of making your Olympia debut. Only one chance to make a strong statement and truly announce yourself. And I really want to see who between these guys, Martin and Muhammad Fada, who is going to place higher. So they are more or less of the similar heights. And both of them are being coached by Stefan. And both these guys have some similarities, like with their aesthetics and all. So that's it from this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.